Yeah. Lady Justice in the house. Keeping the balances of justice level with the light of liberty shining bright. You're so silly. What? Yeah, yeah. Right. In this pressable, we shall see a people ambling about, speeching it up, and speaking the language of the people. Sounding off, pursuing happiness with my life and my liberty on my property. And for God's sakes, I'm exercising my Fourth Amendment right as one of the people not to be in my person. Right on this gangbanger's tail. How you doing tonight? I'm good. How you doing? Wonderful. Good. You look like you were after somebody, man. Me? No, I'm actually just after some fresh air and relaxing. Oh, fresh air. All right. All right. Chat with people. Have a good night. You know? Oh, you like to chat with people? Absolutely. What's your name? Mike Bergeson, sir. Mike Bergeson. Are you on the uh, community engagement team or what? No, no. I'm just a new supervisor here downtown. Oh, you're a sergeant. I am, sir. Do you think you uh, have rights? Do I have rights? Yeah, have, right like, now. Constitutional rights? People have rights. True. That's true. And you're a servant of the people. That's true. Yeah. And it calls you a person. Okay. Which is not the people. Okay. So, I mean, okay, the Constitution is just a document, right? It's a contract. Yes. Right? And so, like, let's say that you and I wrote a contract and we agreed that you were going to sell me a thousand blue shirts. Okay. Okay. But then upon delivery, they were actually navy blue shirts. Okay. Right? That wouldn't be semantics, right? That would be a breach of contract. Absolutely. Right? You Even want just these the shirts, difference. I gave you navy blue shirts. I mean, but we agreed on blue You're on paper and contract. Blue shirts? Exactly. Yeah, you know, what's, in a what's contract. Wrong with my guys, they can't give you blue shirts. Well, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I'm just saying that it's not semantics. Okay. Right? Gotcha. In a contract, you know, contracts are the words matter. Very, but very important, I right? I would like to submit to you that there's a letter of the law and the spirit of the law. And so we got to find a good balance between both of those to serve the public in both directions. Are you saying that the spirit of the Constitution intended to give you rights? Well, when they made the Constitution, it was a while back, right? So they had some completely different societal norms back then than what they do now. Well, well, I think everybody's got rights. You know, I, yeah, somebody can't come up to me and assault me, right? Just like somebody can't come up to you and assault you. You know, I've got... I've, well, you know, actually... I, uniform, I don't have a freedom of speech. Right? Well, I do. You don't have the freedom of speech. Well, I, I do have a freedom of speech, but I might lose my uniform, right? Because my department has a policy... It might that cost says, you your uniform. Exactly. My department has a policy that says, you know... You mustn't be the victim of a crime. You mustn't. Uh, you, know, you, you can't be the victim of a crime, but you can't be the one who's offended. You know what I'm saying? Right. You cannot even right. be offended. Right. We're talking about disorderly conduct. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. You cannot be the offended party. Exactly. Right. Like I could say "f you," and, and you can't do, be right? offended. And I just smile and wave. I don't think most people say that well, to you. Most, Come but on. Do, so but you know, but I'm sure it's happened, street, right? I'm sure it's happened. Puts me the bird out the window or something. Yeah. Well, nobody can be offended for that. What are we gonna do? Yeah. But. That's a good point. You can't even be offended, right? Mm -hmm. And I can be offended. Absolutely. Right? And you have to wear that uniform. Exactly. And I don't have to wear a uniform. It's a privilege to wear the uniform. It is a privilege, mm -hmm. right? And um, and you said that, like, nobody can attack me and nobody can attack you. But actually, you have a privilege that's greater than my right. Because if somebody attacks you... <laughs> They're in well, big it's trouble, a, it's a higher office, right? way yeah. bigger trouble than if they hit me. I agree with you on that. And right? I think that's because, you know, society needs people to do this job. Yeah. I mean, without police, there would probably just be chaos. And so there, might there has be to be some kind chaos. of protection for those. Sure, people. sure. I'm no arguments there. Yeah. But uh, we're coming to some agreements here now. So um, you are you allowed to, say, stand on the corner and hold an F the police sign? It probably wouldn't be a good idea. It that wouldn't be a good idea, right? Not a crime. Not a crime, but yeah. uh, you might lose your job, exactly. right? Now, since we're talking about not a crime, let's say that you um, went to the media or the press or decided to be the press yourself and get on Facebook, and you started talking about an unsolved murder, okay? Okay, an open investigation and started revealing details, right? Or maybe like about another officer that's under investigation and you started talking about it. 
Absolutely. Right? Okay. Or about a victim. Mm -hmm. Now that, you could go to jail for that. Yeah, releasing certain information. Releasing course, certain information. Some information about an ongoing investigation helps. But what I'm saying is, is that there can be criminal uh, penalties for you exercising what, if I exercised, would be free speech. Absolutely. If you exercised it, it wouldn't be. Like, if I found out information about a, uh, a victim, I could release it, right? And society might not like me very much for it, but or they might love me. You never know. But... Right, or like an officer, like say an officer kills somebody, right? right? And then there's an investigation, you know? And sometimes police departments don't like to release the name okay. of the officer. Okay, that's true. Right? But if the press finds out, then the press finds out. Absolutely. And it's free for them to divulge. But you're not allowed to divulge it. Correct. Right? And so, and if you did then there might be consequences. Well, yeah, so there are certain laws against releasing victim information and ongoing investigations, but, you know, when we're talking about law versus policy, you know, there's got to be a clear line. That what I do is either against the law or against policy, but, you know, it all depends yeah. on the circumstances. Right, but like you said, the worst that can happen most of the time is you're going to get kicked, you're going to get fired. Yes. Right? But what happens when you get fired is, is that you traded your privileges right. back for rights. That's true. Right. And so anytime somebody's doing commerce, whether it be a police officer, which is more extreme because you're actually under oath, but or like somebody working at 7-Eleven. OK, when they work at 7-Eleven, they agree to have somebody above them. OK, and then there's somebody above them that can tell them what to do. They've consented. Right. And they may or may not have to wear a uniform, but. Whether they do or don't, the, their boss has the, the power to make them wear it, right? Or like if you're in school, some schools require uniforms, but they all have the authority to if they want to, right? And that's because children don't have rights. They're persons, right? And they don't get their rights until they turn, well, I could say 21. Well, say, but I would say kids have rights. What right? Just depending on, I mean, they still their have property the of their speech. parents. Yeah. Their parents are responsible for them, but if their parents don't do right by their kids, and they go to the state, but they have they have a right to life, they have a right to freedom. Well, a that's right a speech. They have a right to. Do you're talking things. about the Fifth Amendment, the right to life, life, liberty, and property. Okay. But it says persons have that right. It doesn't say people. That's true, but and it doesn't even call it a right. But so it's say, a privilege so commonly a right referred to, life, a right to. to life or anything like that. Is that what you're saying? Well, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that anybody has the right to take a life. Okay. They absolutely don't. Sometimes privilege, just because something's a privilege, mm -hmm. doesn't mean that it's not equal to or greater than a right okay. in most respects. It's all based on But age. the difference between a privilege and a right is that a right cannot be um, taken away, okay. whereas a privilege can be.